Hey guys, it's Jenny from Legend Gaming. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Mammoth Gun in Battlefield Hardly for the Betrayal DLC. Before we get into this video, just like to say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Betrayal DLC. Now, this weapon is probably going to be unlocked by some cool assignment or Easter egg. Um, we haven't really got any more information than that but it won't be a just plain purchasable gun. It'll be unlocked by some sort of assignment or crazy Easter egg. And I explained this in a video a while ago talking about more syndicate assignments coming. Don't forget to go and check that out. But the Mammoth gun does 100 max damage up until 25 meters. This weapon seems to be a slug round shotgun. However, it seems that the slug has some sort of spread, which I know doesn't make sense. But it feels like when I hit fire in close quarters, I sometimes get hit markers, and it just feels a bit inconsistent. It's sort of hard to test this weapon, because when you're spot on the guy, it usually hits in one shot. But sometimes I feel like maybe with arm shots, it doesn't kill in one hit. But it just sometimes feels really inconsistent. It does 45 minimum damage at 80 meters. It fires at around 100 rounds per minute when you're just pulling the trigger. However, it has a 600 round per minute burst fire mode, which is insane. It fires all three pellets in 600 rounds per minute, and this weapon does have three uh, bullets in the magazine, uh, one more than the double barrel shotgun. And just like the double barrel shotgun, you do have to reload after each time you get rid of all three shots. And the reload is a really long 3.6 seconds, which is really the downfall of this weapon, the fact that especially when you use it in burst mode, you have to reload after every shot. However, when you're using it regularly, it does have, again, a one hit kill up to 25 meters. And that's just really awesome. And you do get three shots, which isn't too terrible. And it also has a muzzle velocity of 500 meters per second, which is pretty fast for a shotgun. So that's about it for this mammoth gun review. Just sort of a quick weapon review this gun. Hopefully I'll be able to unlock it quickly when the Betrayal DLC launches. I hope it launches in early March because I'm going away on a trip towards the middle end of March and it would be really annoying if I didn't get to try to unlock this weapon. But I may, I'm not sure if I'm going to unlock it on PC first because there may be more people hunting for easter eggs if it is like that. If it's an assignment unlock I'll probably do it on console because I'm just... I play better on console. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe for much more content on everything Betrayal DLC. That's if you're the biggest thing for watching. I'll see you guys next time.